Act 7, uh, we're here in Nice in the south of France. That's great to be here in Nice, in my hometown. It's beautifully sunny, um, lovely place to race. Rebel Extreme. Oh, Hans Peter Steinack is over the side. Well, he's been pulling along like a fish in the water at the moment. They're slowing the boat down. When he fell over, they were going fast. He could have hurt himself. Stand by. Come on, Terry. Going into the final day, Artemis racing with third, Alinghi second but the home team was still leading. It's good to start the last day at the top of the leaderboard. We stay focused and, uh, well, we hope it's going to be a good day in this. It's early morning racing again and group Edmund de Rothschild are extending their lead. Artemis Racing are chasing, but they can't catch the French. One, and diving. Well, there's almost no win, but Artemis are going to win this race and it's going to get much tighter at the front. So, final race to win overall here. Artemis Racing must beat Group Eben de Rothschild and have a boat between them. Artemis Racing are over the line at the start. They're going to have to go back. Well, what a recovery. It is Artemis Racing who lead Group Eben de Rothschild stuck in the pack. Could victory be going to Sweden? And Group Eben de Rothschild have been given a penalty. Well, I'm sure the French team thought they'd lost it all at one moment, but they haven't. Just one place behind Artemis Racing in the final race. That gives them victory here in Nice. The end of it, we just met it, you know, one point and amazing. <laughs> So victory in Nice has taken Group Edmund de Rothschild to the top of the leaderboard. Just two events remaining. Last year's winners, the Wave Muscat, they're in fourth. The tour now heads to Spain.